What's happening, YouTube? Sin's awesome. Back in a sec. It's my catchphrase. Uh, today we're going to do another unboxing. This is a, a Distortions Unlimited piece that I just picked up. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been on a Distortions Unlimited kick lately uh, as I've started to discover their products. So, very, very cool. Um, Distortions Unlimited is a uh, pretty prominent company. You know, they've been around since the 70s, probably when I was born. I was, I was born in the 70s. So, uh, Ed Edmonds is the founder, and him and his wife run the company. Uh, you guys can see more about them on, a, well, it's not out anymore, but you can get it on Amazon, uh, Making Monsters. Uh, it was on the Travel Channel. Very, very cool, um, very cool series you can watch, you know, let you basically know what they do. They make monsters. So, this is um, my second piece. That I got my my other one. I'll, I'll show you guys after I unbox this guy. I did an unboxing video for my first one. You probably see him in the background. I haven't posted it yet, so um, I will be honest. They're both awesome. I'm, I haven't seen this one yet, but this was my original choice when I first went to the website. I was like, "This is it, man. This is the one." And I didn't get it because well, I'll tell you why in a minute. But let's do this unboxing. So I'm very excited about this. These are uh, uh, Distortions Unlimited masks. This is from the Resurrection series. And what that means is uh, Ed Edmonds has made these masks in the past throughout the series of the years. You know, these, these things have been available. Not available, but he made them. And then he collaborates with master sculptor Joe Duchel. So Joe Duchel has come into his life and re-sculpted these. And they kind of collaborated. In, and it was a collaborative effort to... You know, bring these back, you know, to the well, not to the masses, but bring them back as a collector's item, you know, in limited edition quantity, um, and you know, make it available. And it's just, it's just badass. So let's check this out. I'm very excited about this guy. I've been wanting to do this. Well, I've been wanting this guy for so long. Oh man. All right. So here we go. Uh, one thing about that I'll point out before I pull this guy out is. I order from a lot of mask collectors, um, like the collectors, not mass-produced masks. I do have those too, but when you order from a collector, they know how to package those masks, you know, so they usually package them a certain way and they, you know, they wrap them up. And I, I like the way that, you know, distor Distortions Unlimited packages theirs with this really high quality poly, uh, poly bags, these polyurethane bags or, or whatever you want to call them, but very cool. But yeah, let me pull this guy out. All right, guys. So, if you can't tell, this is my next addition to my Distortions Unlimited collection. I call him the Tusk Alien. And <laughs> from what I'm looking at, this thing is the shit. Wow. So. This is a Tusk Alien. This was my first choice when I, you know, when I was, you know, browsing Distortion Unlimited masks because all the other ones are just unavailable. But for you guys out there, just know I got one on the way coming probably sometime this week. It's from an older generation. It's an old series, but it's still, it's going to be the shit. It's fire. It's going to be that fucking fire. But this... It's from the Resurrection series. This is my second one. Uh, his name is Tusk Alien. Uh, he's not from any particular movie or anything like that. It's just an original design uh, sculpted by Jordi Shell. Resculpted, I might add. Um, this is uh, probably available through Ed Edmonds um, way back in, like, we're talking early 80s here, guys. I mean, you can just tell by the, the way it looks. It looks like an early 80s type influence, you know, something you see in, like, Star Trek or some shit like that. Um, fuck me, man. Look at this thing. Yeah, very cool. Let me get you guys in for a close-up. Yeah, very, very good. I see they, uh, um, I mean, it's got everything, dude. It's got a badass paint job. Pretty awesome latex smell. You know, all us mask collectors love when that fresh latex smell comes out, but, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, look at it. Then the mouth, the eyes, the tusks, 
it's it looks like this i don't know i just it, it reminds me of something that i would see like in twilight zone or star trek or something like that i don't know it's just fucking badass like more sinister good vein work look at this guy fucking badass on the bad you, know, you got the you got the uh look at this shit thick pool as you guys can see as i'm showing you the underside you're it's probably signed and you know uh it's got the numbers of, I think they were limited the resurrection series was limited to uh, 25 copies per mask 25 or 24 something like that so they made 24 of them if you get them you better get them now because after you get them they're gone um, they are signed by Ed Edmonds and George Shell uh, I think this one is oh yeah this one is a uh, 16 out of 24 here I'll show you that and then there's the signatures right there Right there, this one looks like Ed's, and then there's Jordy's. No, it might be very vice versa. I mean, <laughs> you, can, you can hardly tell, but yeah. Very thick pull, very awesome mask. This, this was the original one I wanted. And, you know, now that I got him, it's cool, but yeah, look at those eyes. Badass. You got the Epoxy 5 on those. The mouth looks like, uh, I'll bring up Ryan O'Donnell. He's another fellow YouTuber who reviews masks. This guy's got, like... An immense collection. His shit is insane. He's dead serious about this. I mean, I'm serious too, but he's he's like level 15 and I'm like level 7. So, yeah. This is badass. Yeah, look at that. Look at the mouth. Imagine how this guy communicates. But yeah, the tusks. Very cool painting. Very awesome. Um, the ear holes. Good vein work. Very good sculpt. Very badass. This guy is my original choice, and I'm glad I got him. Um, they're not cheap. Um, you know, you're going to be spending a couple hundred bucks on these things, but yeah, very excited about this. Very happy to have it. Um, and with that said, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll I'll loop in Cycron because I actually got him first. And the reason I got Cycron first is because Ryan got this guy first, and I was pissed. I was kind of I wasn't pissed at Ryan. I was just kind of like, fuck, dude. I wanted to get that guy. That was so badass. And then he just scored him like immediately. He knew. I mean, good taste. You know. You know. Or, or what, what? What? What do you say? Uh, great minds think alike. So yeah, he he knew immediately that this was something he had to have. I mean, this is a collector's item. So I got it right here. I'm gonna set him down real quick. I don't even want to set him down here. Let me see if I can get something to prop him up on. Here, I'll use this water bottle for right now because I don't want to. I don't want to uh, just lay him down. But, so there he is. But I'll give you guys a real quick rundown of my other one, Cycron. And that's this guy. Now this guy is amazing. I mean, this thing, the size alone, look at it compared to my head. Yeah, it's fucking huge. Um, this guy, I actually just fell in love with him. I was just kind of like, yo, this this is the one I need. You know, I mean, it was I don't know what did it for me. I think it was the teeth and the size of his head and just the whole look of this that you know what do you call that that um exoskeleton type look you know kind of like from alien you know, it's like his skeletal features are outside not on the inside so it's so badass but he's still got like some sort of layer of skin you can see him i brought it up on my uh on the uh, channel you can watch him in making monsters episode six where they're actually sculpting this resurrection series um but yeah cycron another one he is also signed by George Uchel and Ed Edmonds, as you can see. This copy right here is 21 to 24. So, I don't know if they sell them in order. I don't know if, like, you know, I ordered this one and now there's only uh, three left. You know, I, I don't know. Unless they're just all out of order and somebody's going to get 18. I don't know. But I'm just glad I got one. Um, signatures are right there. I think that's JS, George Uchel, and there's Edmonds. I don't you know. I kind of, I'm using this stupid water bottle to, to uh, hold them up, which is cool. It doesn't scrape against the signature, so I don't want anything to scrape away. I want that cool. But yeah, thick pull, very big mask, very quality, high quality shit. Distortions unlimited. I'm very happy. I got a third one coming. Um, and I'll probably get, you know, maybe one more if I can, you know, uh, you know, money permitting. You know, I got a lot of other things going on, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so there it is, man. Tusk Alien. And you know, let me see if I can get them both up for you guys. Tusk Alien and um, Cycron. Let me get you guys some close ups. Isn't that cool? 
Yeah, very happy to have these. Yeah. Very, 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 very happy. So, yeah, if you guys are in for a market of like a new collector's item, if you don't collect these, you know, you know Distortions Unlimited, I definitely recommend it. If you can get a hold of some of the, uh, you know, the vintage ones, even better. Four Hound 85, I mean, he's pretty much one of the primary reasons why I started venturing into these. It wasn't just him. I mean, there's a lot of mass collectors I watch on YouTube that collect these things. But he's also got a very good, I mean, he's like very dedicated to getting like the, the vintage stuff, you know, from the 80s and the 70s, you know, some of that stuff's like not in the greatest of shape, but he still has it. So, uh, very awesome. Um, shouts out to all you guys. Um, thanks for the inspiration. You know, I, I love it. Uh, these are, I mean, I'm, I couldn't be happier. I mean, I'm going to get him stuffed and get him propped up real well. I, I'm, I'm probably going to put them both right there, front and center for, you know, uh, that's what I want to see when I, when, I, when I get up in the morning. But... Very cool masks, Distortions Unlimited. Look them up, websites, you know, it's on the web. You can go watch Making Monsters, it's on the Travel Channel, or you can go through Amazon and buy it. It's only like, I think it was like $9.99 or something for like season two or something like that. Very cool shit. You know, they do things like, um, I mean, they, they make masks, but I think they ventured out of that and, and got into bigger projects. Like, you know, you go to a theme park and you see like a giant, like, a big giant display of something you know it, that's that's probably them you know or, or like spirit halloween you go and you see these big like animatronic things that you know come out and reach out for you or they're, you know the great white shark jumps out of the ocean that's them you know they they film the, they, they create these big giant animatronics that are designed towards you know geared towards people with you know that have a theme park or something you know vendors that have a lot of money so yeah, i can see where their money is going but every now and then Jordu comes in and they they resculpt these masks and they bring them in. And I think they're exciting. I think they're awesome. There's, there's a couple of more I want to get that I, I don't think I can get. Krem and Snow Beast are the two. Andrew James has those. Um, didn't mean to throw your name out there like that, but yeah, he's got those two. And I was just like, holy fuck, where does this guy get off? You know, how is he getting these things? Because those are two of my next. Those are two of my top distortions and limited ones that I want to get. Krem and Snow Beast. Um, I mean, there's astronaut. There, I mean, all the others trickle down, but those were the top two. I was like, holy fuck, I need to get those. And they sold out so fast. And then there's um, uh, Solarian, I think. That 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 blue purple ear thing. It's it's, it's got, there's a couple of other uh, mask unboxers that have reviewed that guy. But yeah, there you go, man. I'll give you guys one more look, and I'm gonna cut it off. But yeah, definitely recommend it. Tusk Alien, bad fucking ass. Look at that skull. If you don't think that's badass, then you know, I don't know what the fuck your, is, is your problem, but this shit is pretty fucking cool, man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.